People of YouTube, hello and welcome to Banished, or rather the first episode of the playthrough of Banished. Uh, this is, if you don't know, a game that came out about two to three weeks ago. And it's probably the biggest and most uh, critically acclaimed uh, indie game release uh, this well, this year up to this point, which is the 2nd of March. Um, and it's a lot of fun, it is well acclaimed critically for a reason. And for the same reason, uh, I'm going to be doing a playthrough of it. So this is a city building uh, game, um, and probably one of the best ones I've played since uh, Pharaoh, which was uh, decades ago, probably. So this is by Shining Rock, I think the, the developer's name. It could be actually one guy, um, but um, you know, for a small developer, this is an excellent game, and uh, did it pretty well, I think, in terms of sales as well. So you are somewhere in 17th, 18th century situation. And uh, the people you control are banished, or they decided to, they became exiled for whatever reason from the rest of civilization. So they're starting a new town, village, you know, how longer, how long they can survive is, is kind of unclear at the beginning of the game, obviously, it's up to you. So they're starting the settlement, I guess is the most accurate way of calling this. Uh, and um, yeah, so you're, you the player in charge, you're gonna plan it, you're gonna make sure they have the resources, you're gonna make sure they're not died, and the kids don't get sick, and um, you know, the, the river monsters do not eat them. Uh, there is no combat in the game, it's purely city building and crisis management. So let's uh, let's start doing that. So we're gonna go to new, um, gonna give this some, some name. Uh, today Chizopath was saying that this, this was a very metal game, so we're just gonna call our city Metalgrad. It's gonna be name. Um, this is just a random map seed that it gives you, you can just generate. The reason that you have the numbers is that you can give this numbers, these numbers to your friend, for example, and be like, oh, let's play the same game. Uh, same map and see how we do. So uh, I'm gonna play on medium-sized terrain. I'm not sure Like I, don't, I haven't tried any other ones, but medium sounds great, but because I tried playing this on hard and Fair and it seemed quite easy. So I'm just gonna go harsh climate uh, Disasters are gonna be on I haven't seen any disasters yet because I haven't uh, gone past like five years and you can go for hundreds of years as I understand and uh, The starting condition is gonna be hard Which means we're gonna have only four families a small amount of clothing, food, firewood, and tools are provided, and but no seeds for farming are available. So we cannot, we don't have any seeds with us. We'll have to buy them from uh, merchants, and to in order to contact merchants, we need a uh, sort of merchant outpost, etc. If you start on an easier difficulty like medium or easy, then you also have your seeds. But we're gonna do the the most harshest thing possible. Probably even harsher would be to do this in mountains, but the mountains would give you a lot of mining opportunities. So I'm not sure. Let's keep valleys and 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 medium. Maybe this is easier, but I think this is difficult. Should be difficult enough. Only thing I'm gonna change if, if when we load in here now, if the terrain is really horrible um, and just kind of against us, then I may choose a different map. Oh, banishing people, uh, pollinating flowers, very good. Okay, now let's quickly pause and take a look at our situation here. So this is connected with the river, so that's a good good place. This is a bullshit river? No, it's not. It's also a good river. And we have a huge mountain here, a huge mountain there. So you could expand the city into... Uh, it's not the greatest place to be in. But at the same time, I guess we can do this. This is... This is okay. So you start the game in early spring. I'm not gonna do like a, a lot of explanations because there's good, some good reviews of the game out there. Um, for example, look up uh, Northern Lions review and you'll see like let's look at it and see what's how the game works But I'm gonna do a little bit of that as well, obviously. So you start the game um, With with the people you have these are your banished people. You can also I think click on them and see how they're doing see their uh, um, education level um, their clothing level Tools they have the name gender age as is health happiness, etc. What they have I have nothing because they're not carrying anything so first thing we need to do, um, I'm gonna have it paused for a second here, so we can go from one speed to ten. Um, we are going to build a stockpile, so that people have somewhere to put down the things that we we uh, gather, the resources that we gather. People are probably your primary resource, um, while other stuff is, you know, also very important. But if you if your people die, your game is over. Basically, you need to make sure that your guys survive. So let's put this here. Um, now, we don't have any raw resources like wood uh, or logs in this case or stones, so we need to gather that. So in order to gather that, we need to order the, the people. Uh, and in this case, they're all laborers. We can also bring up a um, sort of overlay of town. See, there we go. This is Metalgrad. 
Um, this is early spring. It tells us that we are in early spring. This is our population. We have eight adults and three kids. Uh, it's snowing. Uh, it's minus three degrees in Celsius um, because that's the kind of uh, degrees I'm used to. Uh, you can obviously move this around as well. So these are your supplies, uh, logs. You got uh, firewood, uh, food, and then we don't have any stones. Oh, this is coal. Yeah, we don't have any coal. We're gonna have coal for some time. Medicine. We're not gonna have any medicines for some time either. Some clothes and um, no iron, but we got some tools. Also, no no alcohol. But that's also gonna take some time, probably. I haven't even gone to a stage uh, in other game where I you know where I would actually have a tavern or or I guess alcohol comes first and then you need a tavern to sell it. So anyhow, first thing we need to do. What's this? Paths. All right, never mind. Um, <laughs> I haven't explored everything. So we need to get the resources to build the houses. Now, since this is, since this is our starting area, we're actually gonna clear out some of the land. Um, and my apologies to Mother Nature here. I was gonna start clearing out this. So we do need some wood for that, but we also gonna need some stones. So then we're gonna also clear out the other part. So let's give these guys a go ahead. Um, we'll probably play this at five speed, which is probably the most efficient speed to play that. Oh, okay, we have more people who are not doing anything. So we're gonna let tell them to gather these rocks. I guess. Or are these? This could be children who that just don't work, possibly. So you can see they're um, cutting down the trees, and this is the logs that appear, and they're gonna transport the logs to the stockpile here. And now from this stockpile, we can already order people to use those logs to build houses, uh, because you can see everyone is, has, has a house over their head displayed, which means they have nowhere to live. So in order that they, they have somewhere to live, we're just going to build them. Or buildings are not unlockable, they're all available from the very beginning, so it's it's not some sort of bullshit, unlock this, unlock that kind of game. Um, so we can turn around the house. Uh, let's do it this way, going to face it face it here. This is a place for the road in, the, in, in front of the house, you can see those triangles. So you're going to put the house, yeah, just probably, probably right there. Uh, we're going to need some of the, a couple of them. So let's put another one down. Now, in order to build the houses, uh, we're going to require builders. But first, we need to uh, bring the required materials to where the houses are. And that is the job of the laborers. So there's different professions in the game. I'm going to show you where they are. It's right here. So at, at this point, we only all eight of our adults, the working population, are uh, laborers. We do not have anyone who would be a builder because we haven't assigned it yet. And that's okay because we do actually need to gather more resources before... Uh, we can start um, assigning professions. So let's also order them to gather a bit more, uh, which is going to be, let's say, this forest here, more or less. Let's clear this out. There's more responsible ways of uh, harvesting your resources, and we're going to get to that, but we just don't have the ability to do that just yet. Also, at this point, we can already assign, let's say, two builders. Since we have enough raw material here at, this, at the construction site to uh, build these houses. So they're going to have a great view of the stockpile. And I'm going to put down probably two more houses there. I didn't want to mean to close that, but let's get that back up. That's that one. I'm going to keep it there. And we're going to build two more houses. We only can afford to build uh, wooden ones at this point, uh, unfortunately. Actually... Yeah, let's do that way. And well, you can change the way, the what kind of house, like you can, you can make it look different. So let's, we could build that one, for example. Right, so the two builders are building the house. The laborers are gathering stuff. And, oh, they're getting tools, I guess. We, which, we're gonna run out of tools pretty soon. So it is important that we finish building quite fast. We could actually, at this point, probably put everyone on building, I think. Hello, phone. How's it going? I think that should work out. So, houses are the first thing we're going to need. And you can see some of them don't already don't have a uh, housing problem issue, welfare symbol over their heads. Um, and you can see that someone, uh, some people are already living here, and they have their child in there as well. Uh, and there's more space in the house, so other people could live here too. Okay, it's a lot of, lot of building happening there, and a lot of building noises. And as that is uh, finishing up, I'm going to have some of my coffee that I have in front of my face. Mm -hmm. 
Is there a thing here saying that firewood is low? That's um, understandable. But first thing we need before we even get to firewood is we need food. Uh, and since we're near a lake, we're going to have a fishing outpost. Is that what it's called? Fishing dock. All right, cool. There we go. So we're going to put the... Oh, sorry. That's the wrong button. Put the fishing dock in there like so. Yeah, sounds good. So we're going to need two builders for that, and we already have two builders. Now, these guys are freezing. It's 12 degrees, and they have no um, no firewood. Uh, in order to get firewood, we would we would require a um, uh, a woodcutter, and we'll get to that in a second, as soon as they finish building this. But we could probably speed this up slightly. Actually, the, other, the rest of the guys are not even doing much, so we probably need to get more resources uh, to support further... Um, buildings. All right, so let's, let's gather all this stuff here. So the laborers have stuff to do. Oh, we have one of the ch children already became an adult. That's very convenient. So that they, they did it pretty fast. Now you would remember that because I'm playing on this on hard difficulty, um, there is no way for us to farm. Until we can buy seeds from someone, someone, uh, some merchants. Um, apparently, we were running away from our um, previous place of uh, dwelling so fast that we we forgot to bring the seeds with us, which happens. You know, it's okay. You know, who hasn't forgotten to bring the seeds? I guess I'm sure all of us have been in this uh, in this very same situation. The cart that we came with is also serving us as a, as a sort of stockpile, but not for raw materials, but materials that are easy, uh, sorry, already ready to to be used. So that's all good. That's happening, and this is finished, and we need to assign workers. So we can afford, I think, to assign... Uh, probably, we probably need to assign four workers here, and we, since we're not building anything, we've got to move the builders to being laborers, um, but immediately... Um, also, we need to gather, probably, just clear the area as much as we can. Oops, that didn't work. There we go. Clear the area as much as we can. Um, and we need to order a woodcutter to be, um, to be, to woodcutter's whatever cottage thing, place to be built. Um, because otherwise the winter is going to come. This is late spring already. And we're going to freeze. And then we lose the game. So that's not a good idea. So, woodcutter, there we go. So, woodcutter is going to, uh, where is the woodcutter going to be? Let's put him, let's put him next to the people. It's going to be easier for him to provide, um, the wood that he cuts to the stockpile because that's where it's going to be stored as well. So now we're actually going to need the builders. Uh, but it's the laborers who bring the, the raw materials to the site here, not the builders. So we also need the laborers. Like, for example, if you have only builders and you're trying to build something, it's not even going to work out because no one is there to bring um, your raw materials to, to the place. And this is not really explained in the tutorial, which is kind of not, I don't really mind. The tutorial is quite well done, but uh, there's things that you need to figure out by yourself, for yourself. And uh, that's cool, because there's not too much, you know, too much hand-holding isn't exactly great in video games, in my opinion, anyway. So, almost all the material we need is there. Oh, we are lacking in wood, and that's why we won't be able to build this. So we need to gather a bit more resources here, which is this menu and we need to cut this down and probably get some stones as well. Well, right, you can see that our um, fishermen and fisherwomen are fishing. They do have the boat, but they usually just stand here and with the fishing pole. And that's the fish that they're catching, and that fish is going to be transported to our cart. Uh, you can see that we have some potatoes we came with, and plus now we have fish there, which is great. And it's already early summer, so we don't really have much time to waste here. We need to act quickly, do whatever we can to um, to provide people with enough food and firewood. Otherwise, we're going to be screwed. So there's the logs coming in that's going to go here and help us with, our, with the construction of the woodcutter. An appointment, eventually, of a woodcutter to cut wood in the woodcutting business of cutting wood. Okay, so one of the laborers should now bring... Okay, there we go. So this means that all the raw materials are there. And the builders are going to engage three builders to build this thing. Maximum amount. And they're doing it. Where's the third builder? Third builder doesn't seem to be there. Just some, some girl walking around. Oh, she's a child. It's fine then. 
As long as she's, you know, happy and healthy, we're all good. Hopefully she will survive into adulthood. Oh, we have... Oh, some children died, it seems like. It's not very good. They're probably freezing to death, actually. So as soon as we can get this, we need to get this thing working. Also, laborers are just standing around, as always. Uh, so we need to tell them to get resources, I guess, so they have stuff to do. Now, the question mark means there's no one working here. Put this down. There's a guy working here. Or a girl. Doesn't really matter. We all share... Um, I think that's that's the woodcutter there. She's bringing the the logs and she's cutting them. And when she's done cutting them, she's gonna bring them to the stockpile. And then people can take them through the houses, and they're not gonna be cold anymore. So that's how this works. Now, it's good of obviously that oh we need to we don't need builders anymore. So the builders are gonna become laborers, and they're gonna take this iron. I think this is iron, not stone. Into into the stockpile, but what we need to do also, we need to develop some further industry. And uh, as I said before, there's more environmentally conscious ways of... Actually, let's just pause it a little bit or slow down the time even more. There's more envi environmentally conscious ways of, of um, gathering stuff and uh, in order that you don't completely strip mine the nature. So in order to do that, I think... Uh, I'm not sure if that's the great idea. It's, it's not like this is not an ideal place to have the settlement, but it's, it's okay. So what we need to put down here, we need to probably kind of expand slightly into the forest. And what we need to do is we need to put down... Where is this? It's here. Uh, not the forester. That's going to be pretty soon, but not yet. Uh, we need food production, so we need to put down gatherers. So gatherers hut is going to be, let's say, here. And they gather ev everything they can find, which is like wild onions, um, mushrooms, etc. Let's, let's turn this around, actually, it's that way. Because they're going to share their space after they're built. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rush it, but with the Hunter's Lodge, I think that's what it's called. Hunting Cabin. And they're going to provide us with uh, some venison and some um, hides, which we're going to make um, into clothes when we eventually can afford to do that. Probably before I even go to hunting, uh, or start hunting there, uh, we should uh, get a uh, blacksmith, because otherwise we run out of tools. And that's no good, obviously. Right, so laborers are laboring. Oh, someone had a child. There's actually, oh, what's this? Logs is low, yeah, I know. Um, should we sh I guess we should cut down more trees. You can specifically cut down trees uh, and not touch anything else. For example, if you order, or you can just collect the stone, um, or you can collect everything. So, let's say we collect just the trees from here, and everything else will be left alone, and they will just cut down the trees. We should probably speed up the process a little bit, and wait for that thing to be complete. It's kind of far away, so it's not going to be very easy for them to, very fast for them to get there and build it and do it, but um, they'll do it eventually. See, someone is, some people are moving there, they're bringing some resources, I think, but they also will have to clear the area in order for the house to be there, obviously, because some trees growing in the place where the house should be. The trees you see falling around is just like natural decay, I guess. They just fall, fall sometimes. So are they bringing the resources? Oh, this is a deer moving around. No, they're clearing it. Something's happening, which is good. We're in sort of a midsummer situation here. So far, it seems like we, we could survive this winter. I think it should be okay. Um, the harsh weather conditions haven't really affected us yet because obviously we're not really farming. So you can see that they haven't brought resources there yet, but they uh, have done some removal. It's quite far away, so it's gonna take some time. That's that's kind of the disadvantage of you know this place or placing of the town, but it's it's still okay enough for us to actually manage to do that and survive. Right, so we have three laborers, but they're not really laboring as fast as I wanted them to be laboring. This guy is running out of logs. He does need to work on the firewood, though. It's, otherwise, we're just gonna freeze in winter. Hmm. Yeah, this is a, it's a bit dire. Alright, let's speed up, see if anything happens. So they're going all the way over there. It's summertime, so you guys should be okay in terms of heating and warmth. And what's happening here? Okay, the clearing is almost done. So the first, oh, they're, they're actually transporting them back and then they're transporting them back here, which is slightly inefficient. 
when they clear the area, all the raw, all the raw material they get, they have to take it to the stockpile and then, then bring the new raw material from the stockpile into there, which is a bit crap, but I mean, that's, that's kind of what we have to work with. But as soon as they're done doing that, then we can assign the builders and they will build it. Ooh, what's this? Logs low. And food is low. Oh, food is low. That's bad. Well, hopefully we'll be able to finish this. Oh, it's our early autumn already. Finish this construction fast enough. Ah, oh, we don't really have any logs at all. All right, we got to cut down more forest here. We have to do it fast as well. So more forest is going to go down. And then hopefully we'll be able to do it. Actually, I may disable this guy for now. So that he can go and work as laborer because we do need as much labor right now as we can afford and I can't really afford to let the fishermen go because we're gonna starve in the winter they can continue fishing all, all through winter which is fine um, but yeah we do need this thing to happen we need to happen we need it to happen fast we almost have all the logs here we need we'll definitely have all the stones we need as soon as we have all the logs um, it's already snowing man uh, we are gonna... Okay, we have everything, so we're gonna uh, tell the builders to come in there. Okay, it's gonna be okay, I think. So since we don't need any, need any more logs for this construction, then we can assign the woodcutter back to cutting wood, because now is when we need that wood. So that no one freezes to death. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty thick snow there. And next thing is definitely, definitely going to be a... Um, a blacksmith, otherwise we are just gonna be majorly screwed. Okay, so this is happening, they're building it, it's almost done. Very good, let's slow down the time a little bit. Okay, now, gather is hot. We can assign up to four people, but we can't really afford that many people to be assigned there, so we can assign them to uh, release the builders into the labor force. And now these guys are already going to be start gathering stuff, and they're going to bring them to the um, the cart, which I think I believe. Oh man, it's almost empty. That is, that is not looking good. Okay, well hopefully this is going to get improved uh, pretty soon. We have some firewood, though not very much, but we do need to get probably more logs. So we do have three laborers, four fishermen. I may have to use some fishermen soon. So we need to cut down, gather more resources, cut down stuff. So let's do it, like so. I think at this point, I can't believe it's snowing so much in the autumn. I guess that's the harsh weather part. It's really early winter. This is gonna be terrible for farming, but hopefully we'll survive because we're not gonna rely solely on farming, but also on animal husbandry and um, general resource gathering in the forest, kind of natural, naturalistic way, sort of, so to say. So to speak. So late autumn. It's not even winter yet, but it looks like winter. Let's speed this up a little bit more. Watch those resources coming in. Uh, is this guy working actually? He is working. Great. It's minus 13 degrees. Oh god. I, I, I do not have much hope for this. This winter. Okay. So blacksmith is definitely has to be next one. And we also probably need more houses soon, otherwise we're not going to have much more children happening. Right, let's slow this down a little bit and go build a blacksmith. So that's going to be here as well. There we go. There's the uh, anvil there, signalizing that this is where the blacksmith is supposed to be. Uh, we could... Where should we place this? Let's place it here. Why not? Did that even work? Oh, it cannot do it there. There we go. We can do it here. Very nice. So, as soon as the materials are there, we'll assign our uh, builders to build it. We only need two for that. But we're going to need someone to be the blacksmith. So, that's, again, people taken away from laboring and uh, into a profession. Which is good in a way, but unless we can increase our population, it's also not very good. We're probably going to have to build another house to just make people uh, reproduce. So, the way this works is... Um, that's not a... Oh, there we go. That's a good example. So see, this is a big family. Now, at 12, uh, they're not children anymore. They start working. So, Benny here 
uh, is, is, is good to go and, and have kids, but uh, she's living with her parents because there is no free house. She, she won't be having sex in her parents' house, she actually needs another house to reproduce, and if we even have actually anyone... No, we just have a... we could have a lesbian couple, but that's pretty much it. Well, hopefully other kids gonna grow up or whatever, but it's a good idea to have extra houses for, um, for child production there. Alright, so is, is this happening? Is this... you guys doing it? Yeah, I guess you are doing it. Do we have enough logs? Oh man, we need more logs. We're gonna... probably next stop is gonna be a, um, forester's cabin. So we have a uh, resource of logs without actually stripping the forest. So what the, re the fo what the forester's cabin is going to do, which is this one here, it's going to cut down the old old trees, but also plant the new ones. So the forest is going to be regenerated every time you um, you're doing you're you're cutting down a tree, you're getting a new one. So it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. Stone is low, logs is low. Is is it low low or is it like just kind of low? No, it's okay actually. So we, oh, we need more stone. We're out of stone. Okay, so resource gathering time then. Let's get you some stone. All right, laborers, come on. Got to make this happen. We're gonna be out of tools very, very soon. We only have eight left. Well, that's no good. How's this guy's doing? Mm, we could use more people, obviously, but we don't really have more people. This is early winter yet, only, not not even not even mid winter. So that's happening. This guy's working. We got stockpile of eh, a little bit of logs. We're gonna need more logs as well. Where are the laborers? What are they clearing actually? Maybe they're too cold to work, because it is minus thirteen degrees. What is this? Reserve logs is low. I know, I know, but I mean, there we go. There's a laborer there. He's getting for stones, because otherwise we won't be able to build this. Hmm. Firewood. We have to continue, unfortunately, with firewood. Otherwise, it's not gonna work out. We're kind of okay with food, because we have two people producing it, two two buildings. So you can see here. So berries, uh, onions, and roots are the stuff that is actually coming from this establishment here, which is great. Okay, so this is gonna be a lot of stone there. I'm tempted to take some people off the fishery and actually make them labor laborers, otherwise the construction is gonna be very, very late. Let's do that. Do that for a bit. Hopefully we're not gonna starve. If we start starving, I'm just gonna put everyone on it again. So what is this? Logs are low. Yeah, I know logs are low. I'm, did I not order to get some logs? All right, let's order them also to get some logs from here. Now we have five laborers, it should be okay. No one is suffering greatly from cold or um, starvation, so that's okay. Um, I guess we can survive this winter. This is already midwinter, so it's not that much left. And it seems like, you know, we're, gonna, we're a poor settlement. Don't have much in terms of economy going here, but um, at the same time, no one's dying, so which is good. There's also another screen you can watch here, which is a, um, a, a way to monitor what's happening. The thing is, this is the one. Um, this is an event log, so if someone dies, for example, you get a, um, a log. It's going to get logged here, and you're going to see it. And you can also toggle, toggle um, different no uh, pop-up notifications, for example, like, oh, someone died and there's going to be a pop-up, which I think is all enabled at this point. Yes, it is. Um, death by old age as well. Let's, let's also put that one in there, because why not? We should know when someone dies, so we can pay the pay tribute and remember them in uh, as, as a hard-working laborer that they were. Right, so let's speed this up, see if we can finally get this thing built. Uh, we still need more stone. This actually need iron, which is probably the first building you're building that needs iron in the game. So where is our speed control? There we go. Got a five. Now we should have enough stone, also some left over. Not that much really. Uh, is this ready to go? Oh, this is not ready to go. We need more stone. Hopefully this is going to be enough stone. 
and I think that person over there is the gatherer. I think. Or maybe not. I thought I was going to check it out, but it's fine. Okay, he has reached the limit of um, the firewood, so he's not going to go over to 200. So we might as well actually take him off the job, since we have enough firewood now, and the winter is almost over. Um, so that he can become a laborer and can help us out, gather more stuff. Uh, that's all done. We should probably clear this area as well. So, oh, we, wait, no one's building this? We need more stone. Do we have more stone? We don't have more stone. Okay, I see how it is. That looked like stone from afar, but it's actually not. So we need to order more clearings. I'm just trying to be careful with the nature here, just not to take everything away. And then, you know, we're paying the iron price for not having any trees around us, which is a bit crap, but I guess we can't really help it right now. We have to gather what we have together in order to survive. So let's speed this up again. We have six laborers now. Some children have, I think, matured. Oh, spring. Very nice. So we survived a year, which is great. So I'm just going to probably, before we finish this video, I'm going to make this thing happen. Um, get a uh, blacksmith. Also, we need to assign builders as soon as we have enough stone. Hopefully, they'll bring that in quite quickly. Now, there's some stone there. Uh, we just need a laborer to take it over there to the construction site. Uh, no. No, that's just food. Come on, laborers. We need four more stone, and we're good to go. Seriously? I should have probably ordered gathering of stone and not just everything, but... Come on. <laughs> oh god, two more stone. There's stone right there. There we go. Okay, cool, this is done. So, now we assign... Builders. And we're finally gonna have a blacksmith who's gonna provide us with tools because the tools deteriorate and then you have no more tools. And the work takes a lot longer if you have broken tools or no tools. So this is why we're doing what we're doing here with the blacksmith. We still have firewood because they're not they're using it quite less uh, when it's not cold. It's like 17 degrees right now, it's middle of spring, so it's fine. It's really okay. They're gonna they're gonna do fine without it. So that's why it's not essential right now to have this guy working. Uh, this is almost done. So we're going to slow this down a little bit to double speed. We survived quite well in terms of food and we actually have 635 in our storage. Our storage is 39, 41% uh, now full and soon we'll have to build another storage facility uh, because this cart is going to become not enough. Now, question mark means no one's working here. So we're going to order a townsfolk guy girl to become a blacksmith without any training, just as it happens in real life. And they will need iron to be transported, but well, they're probably going to do it themselves, from uh, the stockpile to their building. I think that's going to speed up to, to, to see if this happening. This should happen at some point. Yeah, so they have the iron and they're working. And they're going to be producing tools, which are going to be moved to the cart. And then people, whenever they need new tools, they can go to the cart, as they're doing now. But our uh, tools resource is going to be um, filled up instead of just being depleted. Which is very good. And I think this could be where we stop episode number one of Banished. Um, this was a winter we survived, or late spring, year two. And it was quite a great success. I haven't, I, like I said, I have yet to see any kind of disasters happen. I, uh, As I said also before, I know there's fires. Maybe there could be floods. I'm not sure what kind of disasters. Probably disease could spread. So it's a good idea to have um, wells built to fight the fires and hospital at some point. First, we probably should have a herbalist and we also need a um, forester's cabin also quite soon, as soon as we can really, so that we, uh, we can uh, responsibly harvest wood instead of just stripping land and turning it into uh, a field as we're doing now but we're doing this out of necessity not because we hate Gaia Gaia you, you're okay with us I wouldn't say you're cool but you're okay with us so that's the first episode hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you did so please consider supporting this video in any way you can 
and I'll see you in episode number two. Bye.